most of East Tennessee anyway. But a bright Christmas is inevitable for a lot of people who have spent a lot of time and money on those outdoor light displays. Todd Howell live once again in Carnes, where the Austin family has been doing this for years. Todd, we love the tradition, and I will say I'm just partial to the countdown clock. We got a sneak peek at that in the video you showed just a little earlier. Hey, you know what? I'll, let me bring them in. Let's talk about that right now, John. And Beth, thank you so much. And uh, here's the grand winner, Charlie Austin, with his son Logan and his daughter Lexi. How are you doing tonight, Lexi? Good. How about you, Todd? Doing. I'm doing great. Lexi and Logan, wonderful helpers. Charlie, first of all, congratulations. And thanks for letting us come out to your home here in Cards. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I mean, to everybody else that was finalist, Good job, guys. I saw your displays. They were awesome. Um, welcome to Christmas in Carnes. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we got to talk about that. Let's get right to the particulars. Uh, you got a, quite a number of inflatables. How many inflatables have you put up this year? Well, we have a total right now of 30 inflatables. Um, had 31. Mother Nature decided I needed 30. So we have 30 <laughs> up right now. All right. Each one of them with the, with the blower or a pump going in them, right? Correct. Yeah, each one of them has their own uh, blower motor that holds the inflatable up, you know, their own lights inside of it, and, uh, you know, we go from there. All right. And the lights are also impressive. Those, the music is synchronized. How many lights we got up here? Well, we have 5,000 lights right now. Um, total synchronized to music. I'm sure you can probably hear it in the background. Yeah. My neighbors love me. <laughs> well, I tell you what, here, when, coming up we're going to be talking about this. Tell me, this is huge, this is great. How did it all get started though? Well, it's an interesting story. Uh, I'm actually the third generation to do this. My grandfather actually started this whole thing from one little nativity scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, it went from there to my father, who still decorates to this day. And then when I moved out, I started doing it. So it, it's all grown from there. And, and uh, Charlie's a UPS driver. He, you know, he's a go-getter. Uh, you probably know, but we work at UPS. It's certainly a great company. But uh, uh, you enjoy doing this every year, don't you, Charlie? Oh, you have to, man. The, the season's so stressful. Things happen, you know, every day. And, uh, I mean, you got to do it. you got, you got to get it up because the first time you see a car drive by and a kid's eyes light up, I mean, it makes it all worthwhile. That's great. Logan here. He's a hard worker. He's been out here with him the whole way. Lexi as well. All right, guys, we're going to talk to you again, and uh, we've got some other family members here. We've got neighbors. Hey, this is a happening event here in Carnes. Let me give you a quick weather update. You know what? I tell you, it's cold, but it's not nearly as cold as far as the feels like temperature compared to what it was this afternoon. We were downtown Market Square. Marvel's behind the camera. We're handing out hot chocolate. We were freezing. It was windy and cold, but right now it's just cold. Not much of a breeze at all. Let's take a look at the current temperature, and uh, we're going to continue to see those temperatures falling below freezing, heading down into the lower 20s tonight. And uh, so let's continue to look at the latest uh, uh, temperatures right now across the region. You see, we're already seeing some upper 20s and low 30s around the area. We're going to head down. Here's a look at the low temperatures for tonight. We're going to be heading down to 22 degrees for tonight here in Knoxville. Some outlying areas will be in the upper teens. So let's take a look at the satellite loop. We are looking at a beautiful uh, clear sky and I can look up and just about a half moon above and lots of stars. Again, you know, it, it is cold, but I tell you what, relatively speaking, Thankfully, that wind has died down, and it's otherwise just a beautiful, chilly night. And so let's take a look at elsewhere at the regional satellite radar composite. You can see the snow that continues across parts of West Virginia, the mountains. Good skiing conditions, by the way, over Gatlinburg and other surrounding ski resorts. They're loving this weather, and this uh, Canadian air mass has just moved in because now they can make snow. If you have plans to go skiing over the Christmas holidays, good news. Not only is it cold now, but... We may get some natural snow in some of those mountainous areas, I think we will, and cold temperatures at night to make snow. So that's good news, side note. All right, here's a look at the big picture as we span out across the U.S. There's that big storm uh, continuing to spin across the northeast, and also we are looking at a little bit of quieter weather. We're going to see a slow warm-up into the upcoming weekend. I'll talk more about that coming up. You see it's very cold, though, across parts of the northern U.S. All right, and so live from Carnes, from Charlie Austin's home, bright displays, 30 inflated. 5,000 lights, all synchronized to music. And when we come back next segment, we're going to talk to a family member to tell us more about how all this got started. So, And we'll take a look at your Christmas forecast when we come back. Let's go back to you now, Beth. I mean, really is just remarkable. Third generation. I'm glad that Lexi and Logan are there helping him because they're going to have to carry on the tradition, too. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. We'll talk more about that with them as well. All right. Look forward to it. Thanks so much, Todd. Really cool to see. Well, on this first